Hi everyone, I'm back with another project. Uh, this started as an open trickler build. It is a project designed by uh, Amolytics. I'll include a link in the description below. Uh, incidentally, I also 3D printed these. That uh, This was a 3D print design that has a little cone shape on the inside that allows the kernels to kind of go in and get deflected out towards the edges and not be able to jump back out. Uh, I'll include a link to the designer of this as well. So early on in the project, I realized that there was going to be some engineering problems that I'd have to solve my way around. Uh, the first being that, uh, well, it was kind of self-imposed because I didn't want to damage any of the parts because I might have to resell this at some point. So I decided that I would uh, double-sided sticky tape anything that I had to have affixed to the actual scale and then uh, any uh, modifications would be on 3D printed parts. So I uh, modeled the breeze guard so I didn't have to drill a hole right here for the actual trickler itself. Uh, the trickler as well uh, is able to be uh, restored back to its factory configuration. Um, I uh, 3D printed these stops. The first one is fixed to the tube that I made um, with some crazy glue and then on the other side I left it free so that it would uh, be able to transmit vibrations. I uh, went with this design because the original design called for o-rings in order to transmit that vibration and I wanted to be able to dampen out some of it if I needed to. So I used some gasket material uh, that I, I punched some holes in and that is affixed to that with uh, the bolt that the plans originally called for. So by threading in the bolt more I can, I can dampen out more of that vibration or I can uh, thread it out and then allow um, it to shake a little bit more if I need to. Another issue was uh, this trickler has to be elevated in order to clear the cup. Um, so I designed a modular base system and uh, the trickler tube is very sensitive to how, uh, its positioning as well. Too steep of a downward angle and it will continually overthrow charges and then uh, too uh, great in angle and it'll throw very accurate charges but it takes forever so i uh, got some inspiration from the scale itself this is a fx 300i um, it's a very sensitive scale uh, this is sensitive down to uh, two one hundredths of a grain as opposed to regular reloading scales that are only sensitive to a uh, tenth of a grain. With that sensitivity though, it's very uh, subject to uh, being inaccurate if it's not perfectly level. So it has two adjustable feet right here and a bubble level that allows you to position it flat on an uneven surface. So um, I designed this base to have three heat set inserts uh, that accept M4 uh, bolts and I just put feet on the bolts and some Teflon tape around that so that I could uh, stop it from being able to free spin. And then those just thread in and allow you to adjust how the trickler sits. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw this on there and tear it to see how long it takes for uh, charge to actually be trickled up.
Okay, as you can see, it takes a little bit of time for that powder charge to be thrown. So what I decided to do was I was going to include a bulk powder throw. The bulk powder throw, uh, I wanted to limit my budget, so I went with just a cheapo Lee powder thrower. I think it cost me like 25 bucks, maybe 30. Um, uh, again, it's bargain, bargain basement. Um, the major problems that I ran into with it is that, uh, first of all, it needs clearance for the lever uh, to be fully actuated. So I had to uh, provide some clearance for that. I also needed to bring it up to a nice workable height. And the, the weight of the powder thrower itself is just not uh, compatible with the original breeze guard, the top surface it's just too flexible so what I went ahead and did was I designed a reinforcing plate that sits on top of there to take all that weight off this sits on top of there this is just an alignment guide and then a funnel that sits all the way through and helps guide the powder down into the cup and then I kind of dialed this in off camera. I might have to do some more adjustments. But here's the powder cup. I'm gonna throw my bulk charge. And I overthrew, that was me. Again, I'm working with the pretty cheap Lee. As you can see, it's working. <laughs> I'll uh, finalize my uh, designs and throw them all in a package and then I'll go ahead and link them. Thanks for watching.